New House had an art event called The Street in the Shop at the Bradbury Building. Megan Barnes invited me to check out all the amazing work. We got to talk to some of the artists who were there. We spoke with Lila Rose about her custom jacket brand she runs with her husband and fellow artist, Jean Nagai. You guys make the bases too? You like sew everything together? Yes. It was my oh, family had like this printmaking company in the 80s. Okay. It was like a, it's called Michigan Rag in Marushka. If you Google it, it pops right up. Yeah, I mean, it was my uncle, but they like helped him get it started and she was like doing all the prints. So, and they would just do these like basic kind of sport coats and really like heavy, durable fabric. And um, they would do all the prints for it and stuff. So she helped me develop this pattern based on one of those old jackets. But the fact that it's all hand cut and sewn by you guys too. Yeah. Like normally, even when people are tie dyeing or sort of like printing on stuff themselves, they're using someone else's blank. Yeah. They're not exactly. making the blanks themselves. Yeah. There were so many phenomenal works in the show. One of my and Megan Barnes' favorites was works by Kathy Akers, AKA CA Ceramics on Insta. We had a chance to speak to her about her work. Hi, I'm Kathy Akers. I am an artist that is showing today at the Street in the Shop, which is at the New House Bradbury, which is where we are right now. And I am showing some ceramic um, sculptures, mainly, well, I think 100% figurative sculptures made by people. For more than 15 years, I have been researching and visiting 1960s communes, the communes that were founded in the 1960s, and getting to know the people who used to live there and who currently live there. So and these are all characters from sort of... These are all sort of characters from the commune, you know, communities. Yeah. So from their archival documents that I was able to access. And then I got really interested in, um, first of all, doing like these sort of like mini dioramas okay. of their lives. I became really inspired by like Greek and Roman sculpture. Okay. <laughs> and I started to think about like, the forms that they use. Thinking about, I mean, the, the communes and like the hippie revolution was like kind of de a defining period of like the 20th century, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. So sort of like treating that material like, you know, Greeks and Romans would, sort of elevating it to this level of like sculpture, but narrative sculpture. I'm really interested in narrative. My favorite works right now are my newest works, which are these. Okay. So, um, this cool. guy Perfect. is very cool and he is definitely a commune character okay. and he's taken from a photograph and he's also inspired by like Greek Roman sculpture styles okay. because I went to the, I've been to the Getty Villa a few yeah. times and they have all these beautiful like Greek and Roman sculptures where they, the freakiest thing to me is when they inlay the eyes with semi-precious stones okay. and it like, they make these, you know, eyeballs out of that and it's so freaky because it looks like they're looking at you totally so i wanted to do that with these yeah, yeah, um but it. it's like totally like silly materials like these are beads from michael's and this okay. is epoxy paste you use to repair your boat okay okay <laughs> so it's just like random stuff yeah yeah but um i i like the uncanniness of it and it, i think there's also i mean there's element of humor in my work so it's okay if it's a little funny. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it, I love it. It all looks like a sculpture I did not realize it was a separate material, and now you say it, I can yeah, kind of see. Yeah, it's a separate material. I was material. drawn to the yeah. eyes, but I wasn't sure why. But. Yeah, they're just like, you know, beads for necklaces. Yeah, that's so cool, that's so cool.
I just like these like weird little characters, you know, and bringing them to life is really fun. Do you have a home studio? I do. Cool, so you just make everything sort of there? Yeah, I, I was a member of like a, a shared like, you know, clay studio for like seven years, okay. but in the past, I think it was January, I got my own kiln. Oh, amazing. And Congrats. so now I just walk to my backyard and I do stuff, which yeah, is like yeah. so great. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. So you everything's just right the there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's it so it much faster. Natural. Yeah, yeah. I can just like, you know, fire one day and it's just like ready the next. So yeah, it's yeah. really easy. Um, thank you to Newhouse for making this uh, show possible. And thank you to all the other artists who are here. Cool.